Hey guys, um, and I think I've said it every year for the last 10 years, this being 11, is uh, Keith, how would you like to be the head coach of a game you can't lose? You know, and uh, so it's a very emotional week for us, you know, but I'm just so happy that, uh, you know, our players were able to come out and execute like they did. I thought early on we were a little tight, you know, in that game, and I think for obvious reasons probably, but uh, I thought we got on track there a little bit in the second quarter and uh, started making some plays. Uh, that defense just continues to do such a great job. I think they held them fit. I don't think I know they held them to 56 yards rushing, less than three yards per carry. Anytime you can make a team one dimensional like that, uh, you got a great shot at winning the game. Uh, offensively, we took care of the football, had zero turners, turnovers offensively, had the one in the kicking game, which is unacceptable. But uh, we're plus three in turnover margin, you know, still plus three. So gives you a great shot at winning as well. But uh, like I say, I'm just proud. What a, what, what a great day it was for the fans. I mean, I 12,000, whatever's in there, but sounds like 25. and. They did a great job, uh, just a great day, a special day, and uh, just happy it turned out like it did. Uh, you, you talked about coming out maybe a little tight. Is that, that is that a difficult transition to what you, you know, your kids are normally fired up jumping around, and then uh, obviously the, the tone is a little different for this game. Is that a tough transition for them? Well, I think all, I mean, uh, we've, we've done it several times, if you remember. You know, we've come out that first quarter, and they're so, so emotional. I mean, you know, it's so emotional walking out on that field uh, with those guys and, that scoreboard playing and, and just every, you know, you know, going to the cemetery last night prior to going to the hotel and, you know, just so much that's gone that goes into this week that the kids are so fired up and excited to play at times, maybe too much. And uh, so I thought they were real slow getting going that first quarter, but once we settled in, I thought they did a nice job and, and executed, but uh, just proud of our team. Just so proud that they they're playing the way they are and our coaching staff as well. So it was a great day. Especially for Grant, do, do you feel like, you know, it, it looked like he was a little wound up, uh, high throws early and, and missed a couple targets, but it really seemed like things started to turn whenever he connected to, to Willie on the one that put you all up for good. Well, I thought the receivers, you know, what happened, you know, what happens too is, you know, those guys are going to get eight or nine guys in that box to stop. They went, in, they went into the game to stop the running game, you know, so you've got to be able to make some plays on the outside. And, and after that first quarter, we did that. You know, Corey Gamage made some big plays. Already Henry made some big plays. You know, of course, uh, Willie Willie Johnson made some big plays. So, you know, in order to, to be able to move the football and score on a team that's going to try to, uh, you know, defend you like they did, you've got to be able to make some plays on the outside, and our guys did that. Coach, uh, Grant Wells, five touchdowns. What did you see from Grant today to, that gave you guys confidence to have him pass the ball more a lot? Well, yeah, I just – I mean, I see it every week now. You know, I see a young kid that's really growing up, you know. Uh, he gets better every week. You know, he does such a great job with his preparation. His teammates have so much respect for him. You got to give a lot of credit to that offensive line. You had a couple guys out there, and those guys did a great job protecting him and and uh, give him the opportunity to throw the football around. So just proud of the way he's maturing and growing up, and he just keeps getting better every week. You did mention having the offensive line a little bit shuffled. Ulmer moves into right guard with Kane out, and, and Josh Ball goes down in the game. But it seemed like uh, you all got stronger, and, and they built as the game went on. I, I think they did. I mean, I think that's a, you know, and that's a great tribute to our strength program as well. I mean, I guess happened the entire year for seven straight games. You know, in the fourth quarter and the second half, we've we've uh, you know finished strong and dominated the game at times. Run, being able to run the football a lot better in the second half, and that helps. So, uh, this that's a great tribute to Greg and our offensive line because they had a couple of new guys in there, and Dalton Tucker I thought went in there and played well in that fourth quarter, a little bit in part of the third quarter as well. Willie Johnson, is that is that the type of game that you all had sort of been waiting to see from him? Just because it seems like it's been so close there this year with him and Grant, and they finally got that connection going. No, no doubt. I mean, I thought we threw the ball extremely well down the field, you know, and I mean, he made a circus catch there in the end zone at the end there, and as well as Gamage did. You know, Gamage made a couple of tremendous catches in the end zone there as well. So that was great to see. But, uh, you know, we got some young, got, you know, Gamage is a young player stepping up, and he's playing like we thought he would when we recruited him. And Willie, a little bit late getting to that point, but he is as well. So, you know, they're, they're peaking at a, at a great time. And, you know, we just got to get back here tomorrow and go back to work and uh, get ready again for next week. So, the, the half, um, you all get uh, a turnover. It, it seemed like O'Hara was stepping up through the same gap early on, and you all closed that gap, forced him outside, and got that fumble late that led to a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, our, you know, our defense did a great job. And I thought, you know, it's one thing to put a spy on that guy. All right, but the good thing we've got, we got a couple spies we can put on him that can actually run him down and get him on the ground. You know, Beckett and Pitts and Drayton and, 
you know, all those guys can do a great job of, getting, of tracking him down, getting him on the ground. For the most part, they did. He's a hell of a player. I mean, he's created a lot of problems for everybody, and he didn't create as many for us as he has for a lot of other people. But uh, that's a good thing. Coach, did you feel that maybe this year had some extra significance because it was a milestone year 50 as opposed to year 39 or year 42? Or, you know, with the number being 50, did you feel coming in it had some extra motivation behind it? Well, I don't think there's any question being the 50th anniversary. And, you know, and the other thing is, is the game actually fell on the 14th. You know, so there's a lot of stars that lined up in this game. And, uh, you know, so I, but, uh, every, every time we play on the 14th and, and, you know, it's extremely important that we go out and we play well and we find a way to win the game. So that's happened for 11 straight years. And that's I just uh, that's, that's really good. That's a good thing. Do you feel like you all took an, another step offensively today just because, you know, it hadn't been often that Knox has been uh, limited like he was, and, and Grant has sort of been more of a game manager, but today it's it's like he went out and won the game for you. Well, I think you're absolutely right, Grant. I think it got to a point where we had to throw the ball to move it, you know, and it's okay. I mean, that's all right, and as long as you can throw it and execute and, and do it, and that's when you know you're becoming a pretty good uh, offensive football team is when they, you know, they, they stop, pick your poison, you know, so either stop the run and you're able to throw the football or vice versa. So, you know, I thought the – I thought that was a point that uh, our, our offense grew up as an offense and were able to execute what we had to execute because of what the defense was giving us. But there's no question you're right about that.